Greetings friends, my name is Denise and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark. Welcome if you are new to this channel and if you're returning, thank you for coming back. I have a short video today with a few things. I had to go to this amazing Korean bakery and pick up my Mother's Day cake and while doing that, I decided to pop into the Ark that is very close by to there. It's a few towns over from my house, so it's a little bit of an adventure, and it was 50% off day at the Ark. This is the Ark that I have talked about a few times. It's not my favorite Ark. It's one that can be rather lukewarm in the brands department, but if you have a good eye and you look hard enough, sometimes you are rewarded. And today I was rewarded with a little tiny haul. I also have some really cool sales to share about that I already shipped out today that I'm super excited about because they sold in a day. Sourced on Thursday, posted on Friday, shipped on Saturday. I mean, is that not a reseller's dream turnaround? And you won't even believe the price point of these items. So we go to pick up the cake. It's next to the H Mart. And before that, we pop into the Ark. I'm walking around, walking around. It's not really looking too good. Not looking too good. Unless I wanted to sell Derek Hearts or Time and True or hmm, all the other brands that you would just be delighted to find. Especially on 50% off day. I typically avoid thrift stores on 50% off day, but when in Rome, York. okay, this is what I got. I'm just gonna go into it. Not really a lot to write home about, but I was able to score some of these items at 50% off. So this was $7.99, ooh. It's just a three dots gauze dress. It's a um, t-shirt style dress and it was $7.99 minus 50%. I spent a total of $33, but I had a credit of boo 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 i had a credit of 22 dollars because i had two defective items that i returned so i only spent a total of eight dollars and 52 cents on these items because yes i take back items when they have the buttons missing on the back that i totally didn't notice the next item I found for half off, this was $5. This was in the maternity section, but it is not maternity. I don't know if you recognize this, but this is one of those Bailey 44 bodycon dresses that really were uber, uber popular about 10 years ago. And it has these panels that kind of crisscross applesauce and do all sorts of fun things, but it is hugging. I did try this on and uh, it's kind of cute. <laughs> I did find an extra large Athleta high neck bra. I mean, high five for this, half price. I think it was $5.99 half price. Very, very soft material like Lululemon Align. And speaking of Lululemon, I mean, I just shipped out four Lululemon items and you know my theory, four out, four in, four in, four out, one in, one out, so. I shipped out four, I brought in three. So I was pretty close. Although I came to home to one piece in the mail. I'm gonna show you what I've been sourcing online, Lululemon wise. So this was the first Lulu piece I picked up. This is an older skirt. It has, you know, it's kind of like a tennis skirt. I absolutely adore this color. There's the Lulu logo. It also says Lululemon in the stretchy kind of rubberized part of the boy short liners. In absolutely beautiful condition. Always check liners. That is just a little pro tip. I also found these Lululemon shorts. 
These are the speed up shorts. That panel like that makes them the speed up short. They have this really fun pattern to them. At first, I did not see a size dot in the back of these, so I have to do a little research, but the other pieces that I found were all a size six, so I'm assuming these were a size six. They were all together, probably same donation. And the last piece that I picked up were these Lululemon shorts. They are a little bit older. They have some rubberized detailing above the pockets. So they're like a boy short style bike short. They're super fun and cute. And these were $3.99. So these, the white tags were not on sale. And I certainly didn't mind paying $3.99 for Lululemon. I thought that was a great deal. I went through all the racks. I went through all the jean racks. I went through the dresses racks. I looked at shoes. I looked at capris. I looked at blazers. I looked at tank tops. I looked at long sleeves. I mean, there were there was a whole section that I didn't really hit, like the blouses and the sweaters, but I did look pretty thoroughly at pants and jeans and um, their leggings. I'm always looking for Lululemon and Athleta in any size from like 10 and above. So I focus on those sizes first. And I often find that people will uh, try to hide items in those size ranges the night before or the day before a 50% off sale and then they go back to those sections because they think as many people aren't shopping them. I do think that's an interesting strategy, one which I do not do. I don't go to thrift stores and hide things for sale day. I just go to thrift stores, shop, and leave. What they want. I Let's talk about what's sold because this is kind of fun. Um, I just sold and haven't shipped out yet a pair of Dansko brown leather sandals. Not really much to write home about, but this is the second pair of Danskos I've sold in the last 24 hours. These were kind of a little worn. Um, the straps just were kind of flattened. I'm going to grab them and then I can show you exactly what I mean. like the footbed and stuff they're still in good condition but the leather straps are just a little flat and <gasps> there goes my ipad always some something falling you know it's funny they have life in them but they're just a little worn okay now back to the more exciting news i sold a pair of roller rabbit hearts polo pajamas for $75. I had them in my closet for $108. This size and colorway was sold out online, so I decided mm, I'll price them at $108. I got a $75 offer and I accepted it. Now my daughter, my 17-year-old, told me how Roller Rabbit is all the rage with the preppy girls on TikTok. So that makes sense. I had no idea. I knew Roller Rabbit was a brand that I wanted to pick up. My profit was $60 and I paid $5.99 for them. So math, $44 in 24 hours, hoo-ha. I also sold this Tulum Jungle Gym tank top. So this gym is famous on Instagram. It's in Tulum. I talked about it in my video. That was just yesterday. So it sold already for $25. Like no offer, nothing. Like someone just paid $25 for it. Boom. I'm like, okay, thank you. For $1.99, I picked this up. And I don't know if you've ever seen anything about the Tulum Jungle Gym on Instagram, but they have a pretty big presence on Instagram. So I picked up this shirt. It was only $1.99 and I don't think it's going to sell for more than $15, but I thought it was too cool to leave behind. Oh my gosh. I am so excited. This is the first time I have ever found this brand. Here's a pair of heart bottoms and here is the top. I was just so excited. There were other resellers there today and I usually go through the racks after people do and um, I feel like I have an eye for finding things that other people don't see. 
in particular the people that were there today don't feel very brand savvy they feel like they're just getting started so I I let people look they they grab the things that most people would grab and to me sometimes that can be oversaturated so I don't really worry about it very much here's the top I've never found this brand before so this is roller rabbit really 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 well made pajamas and I think, you know, their long sleeve, long pants go for about $175. I'm gonna try to find these. They honestly don't really feel like they've really been worn. They don't have much wash wear to them, so I'm very excited. I also sold a bundle of Lululemon, a Love Tank, and a Lululemon Swiftly Tech. I sold that bundle for $60, and I'm very happy with that price. So Friday, Yesterday, I actually had three bundle sales and they were all buyer initiated, which was just like, wow, are, are we sensing a new trend? That I thought was like really, really cool. So those are the things that I shipped out. One thing I still have to ship out. I've been sourcing some Lululemon pieces online and some were in live sales and some were in other places and I just want to share what I've been sourcing. I have been sourcing like kind of cool and unusual pieces. I sourced this scuba hoodie that has some call outs that I need to take care of. They're really hard to see because it's kind of a wild looking scuba hoodie. This is definitely an older generation. I just thought it was super fun. I also recently picked up this Lululemon size 8 blouse. I mean, look at this. It's Lululemon. It's got the little curve here at the top of the shoulder line. And then um, this is a shirt. I like to show people the variations of logos. So there is that logo right here sewn onto the hemline. And um, just, you know, so you know, it's not always going to be exactly where you think it's going to be. You either have to look in the top in between the shoulders or in the bottom, but not always for the silver. Sometimes it could be sewn onto the hemline. Sometimes it could be metal. Sometimes it could be a gummy logo that is very monochromatic and easy to pass over if you're only looking for silver. I mean, I know some items are Lululemon from the details on the zipper pulls and stuff. And then I am actually searching that item for the Lululemon logo and it takes me a hot minute. So just slow down when you're out there. I sourced this extra large, extra, extra large. This is a scuba fleece pullover. It's the short version. It's kind of got animal vibes. It's lined with a cotton on the inside. It's really, really nice. So I've been finding um, some kind of more substantial pieces online like coats and pants and um, this blouse and sweatshirts, jackets. They seem to be like what I easily source and am drawn to because those are harder for me to find when I'm out thrifting. I find a lot of shorts, pants, tanks, uh, bras, so I don't really focus my energy that way when I'm sourcing online. And that's all I have, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Um, tomorrow is Mother's Day and um, I have a lot of big feelings around tomorrow. It'll be the first Mother's Day that um, I will experience without my mom. So I lost my mom last June and this is kind of the last of the big firsts. So you go through all these firsts, like first birthday, first her birthday, first Thanksgiving, first Christmas, first New Year, first all of those things, first anniversary of her and my dad. And um, so now it's kind of the last of the firsts. It's the last um, holiday for me to go through without my mom. I am really missing my daughter uh, at, coupled with the heavy emotions of um, just experiencing Mother's Day without my mom. And that's 
really all I have. Just sending out kindness and hugs and warmth and love to any of you who have a hard day um, in front of you and may be experiencing a hard day as a result of this Mother's Day. I empathize with you and um, I recognize the beauty of the day and um, coupled with the sadness and it doesn't even have to be loss related. It can just be a very difficult day for people who um, haven't really had the experience that feels like a celebration. So that's all I'm going to say on the matter. I appreciate you and thank you so much for watching. I'll be back. Take care everyone.